This video is about Leonardo da Vinci. If you didn't watch the other video about Leonardo da Vinci the painter, watch that first. This one is about Leonardo's other job as an inventor. But what is an inventor? An inventor is someone who creates new things that change the world forever. Some inventions change the way that people communicate with each other. Other inventions change the way that people move around the world. And other inventions are just created just for fun and pleasure. Let's take a look at some famous inventors. Nicolas Jacques Conti invented something very important for all of us going to school. He created the pencil. Heidi Lamar was a famous actress in her day. During World War II, she used her scientific skills to help the Navy develop technologies that later led to the creation of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. Dr. Shirley Jackson was a physicist whose scientific ideas led to the creation of not only the very first touch-tone phones, the fax machine, but even solar panels. Leonardo da Vinci was not just a great painter. Leonardo was also an inventor of new technologies. He thought up many technological inventions that are used today. Let's look at some of Leonardo's drawings of his inventions and try to guess what it is he's inventing. Here's one of Leonardo's drawings. Can you guess what invention this is that we, e that we use today? The parachute. Here's another invention. Looks like a rake, maybe even some type of strange brush, but this is a much deadlier invention, the machine gun. Though this might look like some kind of weird Halloween costume, this costume actually has a purpose. Leonardo created it so that you could go and explore a world you normally wouldn't be able to. Can you guess what it is and what it's used for? It's a diving suit. What about this invention? If you guess helicopter, you're correct. And lastly, this strange automobile is actually a tank. We are going to try to create at home using materials that we can easily find one of Leonardo's inventions. We're going to create a working parachute. For this activity, you'll simply need to find some paper, some tape, and also a bottle cap. That's all we'll need to create a parachute. First, look around your home and see if you can find two sheets of paper. These papers can be blank or they can be lined paper from a notebook. One of the papers we'll put away for later. You'll also need some tape, a pair of scissors, and a bottle cap. The first step is to take your paper and to fold it in half. You can fold it in half vertically or horizontally. Open your paper and fold it the other way. Now take your scissors and cut about an inch and a half cut on top of each fold. In total you'll be making four cuts. The next step is to change the shape of our paper to make it a little bit more three-dimensional. So go to the parts of the, the cuts that you created and fold one flap over the other and tape it. 
Do this four times working your way around the piece of paper. Now it's time to grab the other piece of paper. With this paper, we're going to cut very thin strips. These strips will act as the ropes on our parachute that will be connected to the weight. In total, cut four long strips. Now take four pieces of tape and you're going to connect each rope to every corner of your parachute. After you have your four strips of paper connected to each corner of your parachute, grab your bottle cap. This is going to act as the weight. This is what the parachute will be floating down to the ground. Simply connect each rope to the bottle cap. Once you've got the bottle cap connected, you're ready to float your parachute. Your parachute should float down to the ground without flipping over. If it doesn't flip over, it's a success.